I'm joined by the author and management expert, Professor Colin Turner. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. Uh, Professor, turning you first, I mean, look, just over a year ago when Bob Diamond took over at Barclays uh, in the hot seat, the shares were £3.32. Today they're £2.12, pence down a third. Forget bonuses, he's lucky to get his salary, isn't he? Well, absolutely. I would say that's not only inappropriate, it's almost bad-mannered. I mean, as Bob Diamond says himself, it's unacceptable. I can't begin for one, one moment, Jeff, that the four million business owners that are, are bank customers would ever even entertain approaching a bank and say, hey, I'm sorry, we've lost this year, our shares have gone down, but can we have a bonus to keep somebody from leaving? Uh, the uh, executive committee may well say, well, look, we don't control the share price. Uh, the vagaries of the stock market are nothing to do with us. But what about the company's results? Its profits were down 3% last year. Can you see any justification None at all. I mean, Bob Diamond's been on the executive committee for 15 years, since 1997. I think there's a whole host of things to be looked at. Even Sir Mike Rake, who's on the auditing committee and is passing these sort of bonuses, did the same thing with EasyJet, to the chagrin of the major shareholder, Stelios, there by awarding huge bonuses. And I think you can't, you can't say that all oh, things are tough. In fact, the trouble is, Jeff, any answer on common sense is looked upon as bank bashing. Uh, Professor Turner, um... If Barclays were to be having second thoughts now, uh, and behind closed doors the top team were saying to themselves, crikey, you know, we're in a, in a corner here, we've got to get out of it, what advice would you give them? How do they exit this elegantly? Well, first of all, Bob Diamond's not directly employed by Barclays, he's actually employed by Grace Church Services Incorporation, and obviously they've tied to a brilliant contract. And I think it's the contracts that have to be looked at. You see, in incentives, we all want incentives, and the perception of incentives there is if you do well and you, you get a bonus. But if you don't do so well, you shouldn't get a bonus. Now, it's obviously challenging because of all the challenges around, but if it's on your uh, watch, then you have to sort of be good-mannered about it. And the very fact is, is that they rely on customers, and they're most major customers, 6.7% of those shareholders you just mentioned, of the shares they have, they've got to say, hang on a minute, do we need all these bonuses? We mustn't forget that the year before last, 2010, Bob Diamond received 20 million and still the shares went down from 380 to 300. So something has to be done. And I think on 27, I would love, 27th of April, <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall because I think something's going to really hit the fan. Uh, Professor Turner, many thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time.